It's leaving day. So hit me. So hit me. It just feels so surreal because I feel like I've been waiting on this day forever and I felt like I was going to be deployed forever and now I get to go home and I'm just so excited. Today is going to be mostly cleaning uh, the rest of this place. It has to be cleaned out. Ba they moved up bag drop as well so I'm having to pack way earlier than I thought I was going to. Just a mass exodus of people going to go drop off their bags. Okay, bags are dropped. I'm actually gonna change out of this because I want this to be like as fresh as possible when I get on that plane. And I pretty much have to kill a whole day because it's like early in the morning. So I'm um, gonna change out of this, kill the whole day, and uh, yeah, see where it goes from there. Okay, it's currently nighttime. <clears throat> Managed to waste most of the day just watching movies, but if you look behind me, the living area is cleared out, which is crazy. It's so close to going home. Uh, I know. Hey guys, what's up? It's been a couple days since I've been home and honestly like it has been such a transition being home. Um, one of the things that like they told us before we came back home was to just not insert yourself into um, like other people's lives. So like for example if you had like a significant other um, or also in my case like roommates like don't just like start changing everything as soon as you get home like they have continued life without you and that's like what you have to accept that you left and people continue their life and you weren't a part of it and they put systems in place that worked for them and so don't just come home and change everything and that is so true i came home things were different the way they lived was different and it it just took some adjustment and it's not even like anything bad it's just like oh like so and so puts their stuff in this closet now or so and so is like using this bathroom now nothing bad it's just different it just takes some time to get used to it so i've been home a couple days i've really enjoyed being home it's like also just weird because when you're deployed like you don't really have hobbies anymore um you just kind of do whatever the army tells you to do and when you come home, you realize that like, oh, like I really enjoy doing this and I really enjoyed doing that. I should do that again. And so it's just kind of transitioning into doing that as well. So yeah, I'm just trying to like get my life back together. Um, as you can tell, the office is a mess. So I'm going to be working on that the next couple days. I think I want to do some rearranging and move the office around. Hey, kitty. It's been a while since you've been on the camera. <coughs> Um, so yeah, I think I want to do some rearranging, put the desk over by the window, and I don't know, just like kind of redo the vibes that I have going on because when you leave and you come back, you are a totally different person. I've been gone for nine months, people change in nine months, and I do feel like I am different. Um, there was a lot of like things that happened during deployment that I didn't show on camera. I really tried to just to leave the positive stuff like my travels or when I was having good days. Um, and I didn't really show a lot of things behind the scenes that was going on in my life and I am now having to really address some of those things and it is difficult. So I don't know how consistent my videos are going to be over the next couple weeks because I need to take care of myself for a little bit. Um, being home, it's just different. It just is. And it's really weird because I didn't go through this transition when I came home from Kuwait. I just came home and I, that was it. Um, but I had just moved to Riley. I hadn't even really started a life when I deployed to Kuwait. And so when I came back from Kuwait, I was just starting over my life, like it wasn't a big deal. But this time I left my life and I've now come back to my life and it's just different. Um, there are things going on at work that need to be addressed. There are things going on like at the house that need to be addressed. 
and I just need to focus on it. So if you don't see videos from me for the next couple of weeks, please don't be offended. I just need to work through some of these things until I can really commit to YouTube again. Um, so yeah. That's it for this video. Thanks for coming along with me on my journey back home. If you guys want to see what my journey was like coming back home from Kuwait, I can link that video below as well. And I'll see you guys in another video, okay? Hopefully soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.